Hey, welcome back. This is Joe from Home Studio Corner. Today we're going to talk about inserting time into Pro Tools. Now, this doesn't involve time machines, so don't freak out. What this is actually in response to is one of my readers uh, posted a question or emailed me a question saying, Help, I've got a song. It's almost done, but now I want to add a 24 measure intro to the beginning. But somewhat like this session here, you can see the song starts around measure 10, uh, as we can hear here. Can somebody help me find myself? So let's say, you know, this is kind of more of a rock song and you want to add a nice, I don't know, string quartet, <laughs> like 24 bar intro to the track. Well, there's obviously only, you know, nine or 10 bars here available for us to add anything. So what do you do? Well, you could bounce your mix down, import that into a completely new session and, you know, add that around. But you probably want it all in the same session, right? So there is a solution. So what you do, you come in and we'll make sure we're in grid mode just so we can come up here exactly to the start of the song. And what we're going to do is right on the downbeat of this song at measure 12, we're going to put our selector. Now, here's where we're going to change time come up to the event menu and there's a lot of stuff here that most folks don't really mess around with much but this is one time where you'll come to the event menu time operations insert time now this window comes up and it's a very pretty basic window and basically what it's allowing you to do is to insert any set amount of time that you want in the exact spot that you have your marker located now if you don't normally have bars and beats as your default view which I I kind of go back and forth. As you can see, your display here can be in bars and beats, in minutes and seconds and samples, or in bars and beats. And this section here is going to mirror whatever's up here. So for our purposes, we know we want to put exactly 24 bars at the beginning, so we're going to default to bars and beats, so we can have that there. Now, it's going to start and end. Right now, it's just got the selection where we have our marker in Pro Tools, which is on measure 12. And we want to add in 24 bars. So we can do math and figure out where it should end, but I'm lazy, so we're just going to say 24, hit enter. So now it says it's going to add some time, starting at measure 1, ending at measure 36. Now the other thing to keep in mind is, typically when you do this, you want everything to move over. It's going to drop a certain amount of time into your timeline, and you want everything to move out to the right so it all stays lined up, right? So that includes any meter, tempo, key, and chord rulers, also, all tick-based markers and tracks, which would be your markers, and any MIDI tracks that's based on a tick as opposed to a sample, and then also, obviously, all your sample-based markers and tracks, so all your audio tracks need to move over. Now, I'll zoom out, and we can take a look here. It's already, as you can see here, it's got uh, the area selected right here, and as we apply it, you're going to see everything within that section is going to get jammed over to the right. Here we go. And there you go. Now, in case you didn't catch that, as you can see, now we've got 24 bars here. And it even cut off this audio here, so we can just trim that back so we don't lose the first part of those, those notes. But now everything's been moved over. Now, if I undo and go back, take a look at these markers here, the verse and chorus markers. Those also got moved as well. So everything in this session just got moved back a certain amount of time which is very cool. That also includes any automation that you have going on, volume automation, plug-in automation, all that fun stuff. It all gets moved over. So now, if we undo our undo, now we've got a lot of space here. And maybe you want to put, you know, an hour of space at the beginning. I don't know. But now you can do that, and it's, it's very easy to do. So hopefully that helps. If you're like me and you don't necessarily plan how your song's going to go, or you get to the end of a session or a project and you realize, hey, a really cool intro would be great here, but I don't have time. Well, you're not stuck anymore like you thought you were in the past. You can just come in, insert some time, and keep working. So thanks for watching, as always. And if you have any questions, head over to homestudiocorner.com if you're not there already. Leave a comment. We'd be happy to help there. Also, a little shameless plug, I released a little live EP yesterday. So there's a link back at the site uh, to my website, joegildermusic.com which has some of my personal music. So if you're interested, it's free, kind of fun. 
and uh, I'll probably be featuring some of that information here on the blog before too long. So thanks again for watching, and we will see you back around here soon.